Welcome to our UCSD Cosmos virtual information session. The goal of this video is to give you a brief overview of our program, including dates, cost, and financial assistance. I will also walk you through our website to show you where you can find key information about our program. So let's get started. What is Cosmos? Cosmos is a four-week residential program geared toward highly motivated high school students who are interested in STEM science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Cosmos students have the opportunity to learn about advanced topics beyond the typical high school curriculum. You also have the opportunity to work side by side with university faculty and researchers, culminating in a final project at the end of the four week program. Cosmos has four sites, UC Davis, UC Irvine, UC San Diego, and UC Santa Cruz. You can find the dates for all Cosmos programs on the statewide website. All of the Cosmos programs are similar, but each has unique clusters of study as well as different field trips. Be sure to check out the website for each UC campus that offers Cosmos to review their courses. Keep in mind, you can only apply to one campus. Here at UC San Diego Cosmos, we have clusters ranging from computer science to bioengineering to robotics. Here in San Diego, students are only allowed to go home during family weekend, which is the second weekend of the program. However, many students decide to stay and participate in the various activities we offer. Furthermore, each cluster will also attend a variety of field trips. For example, Students may visit Sony, the Sanford Consortium, Birch Aquarium, or the Craig Bentner Institute. In addition to cluster field trips, we also have a lot of fun weekend activities, such as visiting the world-famous San Diego Zoo and the sandy beaches of La Jolla. Now you are probably wondering who is eligible to apply. If you are a motivated and talented high school student who is a rising 8th through 12th grader, you are eligible. Cosmos is a very competitive program. The average incoming GPA of our students is typically 3.8 or above. However, students are admitted with GPAs lower than this. Furthermore, each campus has different prerequisites for their clusters. Be sure to check out each cluster on each Cosmos campus website individually. Here are the costs associated with attending Cosmos. You'll notice there's an application fee, a deposit, and the remaining tuition. Tuition will cover four weeks of residential housing, three meals a day, and all class materials. Tuition does not cover transportation to and from the campus site. If you would like to apply for financial aid, you can do so within your application. Financial aid is only available for qualified California students. The application to Cosmos is completed online. You may apply to only one campus, but you can and should apply to your top two clusters. Attending Cosmos will provide you with extra consideration on your UC college application, but does not guarantee admission to the UC system. We are now going to switch gears a bit and take you through some of our important links on our website. Here is what the main Cosmos application website looks like. Under the About Cosmos tab, you will find information about the different UC campuses and their clusters, as well as an overview of the program. Under the Apply to Cosmos tab, you will find application basics, dates and deadlines, statewide policies, frequently asked questions, and information about financial aid. Please be sure to look at all of these tabs prior to starting your application. When the application website is live, you will be able to create a login to start your application. Please remember to save your username and password as you can go back into the application to check the status of your application materials. Here is an example of what the status page looks like. Please be sure to check this frequently prior to the application deadline to make sure that your application is complete. Additionally, the online portal will be the best place to check for updates in regards to your Cosmos application and admission status. Here are a few tips to help you complete your application.
be sure to speak to two teachers, preferably in STEM, for your online recommendation. At least one recommendation is required, two are preferred. Be sure to request your recommendation as early as possible and give your teacher enough time. If you request them too late, they might not have enough time to complete them. This may cause your application to be considered incomplete. Practice writing your personal statement. Do not just write what you think we want to hear. Let us know about you, why you're interested in that certain cluster, and why you want to come to Cosmos. One piece of advice I have is to write your essay in a Word document and transfer it over to the application website when you are ready. Cosmos requires two years of academic transcripts. Your current year, which may show classes in progress, as well as the prior year you completed in school. For example, if you're a 10th grade student, you will need to upload your 9th grade as well as your 10th grade transcripts. If you're currently in 9th grade, you will need to upload your 9th grade as well as your 8th grade transcripts. Current 8th grade students typically send only one transcript, which shows their work from 6th to 8th grade. Please request your official transcripts from your high school registrar if you are admitted into the COSMOS program and plan to attend. These transcripts must be identical to the uploaded transcripts you have already submitted, with the exception of any new grades that have been posted. Any misrepresentation of grades is ground for having your acceptance rescinded from the COSMOS program. The postmark deadline for official transcripts and the acceptance deposit will be posted on the online portal, so make sure to check it often. Cosmos does not accept any late materials. There are no exceptions. If you don't know what an official transcript looks like, here are some elements that make it official. The envelope will be sealed, and in most cases on the back, there may be a stamp that says, official transcript enclosed, unofficial if seal is broken. There also may be a seal from your school across the closure, or it may be signed by a school official. It needs to be unopened. If your school's registrar gives you an envelope to mail to us, do not open it. Make sure that you mail it in by the postmark deadline. Do not print off your transcript off the internet and mail it in as this is not an official transcript. If you're unsure what a postmark deadline means, it is the stamp that the post office puts on the envelope when you mail it. If you are a California resident looking to apply for financial assistance, please do so within the application. Just remember that financial assistance is for California residents only. In addition, financial assistance does not cover the application fee or the deposit. After you've submitted your online application, the next step is to submit your application fee and upload your transcripts online before the deadline. If you have any further questions after reviewing our website and Frequently Asked Questions page, you can email us at cosmos at ucsd.edu. We hope you can join us this summer. Thank you for watching and good luck with your application.